Alderperson Sorensen here. Uh, Henry Young. Here. Nick DeSalt. Yes. Uh, Jerry Jones. Yeah. And Alder uh, Trey Mitchell. And then the mayor is present here in the, in the chambers. So we have a quorum present. Um, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I felt kind of lonely doing that. Okay, next item is approval of the minutes from our April 27th meeting and entertain a motion to approve those minutes. I'll move to approve the minutes from our previous meeting. This is Ryan. Motion by Sorensen. Is there a second? second? Trey. Thank you very much, Trey. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to item number three, the 2021-2025 Capital Improvements Program for discussion and possible action. We have a direct referral of RO number uh, one of 2021, uh, dated April 21st, submitting the Capital Improvements Program request for the years 2021 through 2025. Uh, bring up Administrator Huffland. And let's see here. You're live. Great, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, again, thanks to all the Capital Improvement Commission members uh, for getting uh, their rating sheets back. Uh, some of you have had a chance now to uh, interact with Claudia. So uh, it, last week was her first week. Uh, she did a great job and she is uh, here today uh, as, as, part of, uh, as part of the meeting. Uh, included in your packet that was sent out uh, late last week was a rating sheet. Uh, as you can uh, if you're able to pull that up, uh, the M's or those that are mandated projects get us up to roughly 3.4 million of general obligation. Uh, as in years past, uh, the focus of the commission, the plan commission, and ultimately the common council has been on those projects that are heavily dependent upon by debt service, uh, specifically general obligation debt service. Uh, just for the record, there is a sort of second level of debt, a second type of debt, and that is associated with our tax incremental district or our special revenue funds that are typically user fee uh, based. But these are general obligation non-TID debt. So 3.4 million uh, got us to the total or subtotal for mandated related projects. And then again, through your, through your work, uh, we came up with a ranking. Uh, the higher the number means the higher the rating uh, as high as roughly 21 points down to 11 uh, points. Um, and uh, I know that we do have many department heads that are here uh, this afternoon uh, to be able to answer your questions. Uh, one, one thing, to, uh, one thing too, to, to note is that in some cases, it's not just the geo debt, again, that's funding these projects. Uh, as a great example are the top three uh, street projects, which are uh, CMAC, uh, and again, uh, David Beeble uh, discussed th that revenue source. It, again, it helps uh, mitigate uh, congestion uh, with this new technology and ultimately benefits uh, our air quality. And accordingly, uh, those of you that uh, turned in your rating sheets rank those as the highest, again, because we're leveraging, uh, I think, state funds, uh, federal funds flowing through the state. Yeah. Uh, the next was a park project. Uh, we've had a significant discussion over the last year with uh, Maywood's uh, Environmental uh, uh, Commission. Um, and again, we recognize uh, we have an obligation to uh, maintain, and a lot of these are exterior to the building. Uh, traffic control upgrades, uh, and again, uh, except for a uh, playground uh, renovation in, in park, the rest are motor vehicle related. And Daryl, um, could you just give us an idea of uh, which projects are going to be dropping off uh, that list? 
uh, with the, uh, the previous amount that we talked about? Is it the last two or the last three? Uh, previous amount. To bond for. Well, um, the, you know, the 4.2 is consistent with the presentations uh, that were made. Um, um, and I know that I, I have received calls of interest uh, from not only elected officials, but uh, members of the commission, uh, Capital Improvement Commission, about uh, in light of COVID-19 and uh, concern about the overall economy, whether the city should revisit uh, the amount of general obligation debt needed to support these projects. Okay, um, we have a presentation on the uh, rankings that, uh, and the outcome of our surveys. Does anyone have any discussion to put forward? Mayor, I'm, uh, I'm just sitting here as an observer, but I have a uh, question. This is Alderman Jim Boren. Please go ahead, Jim. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'm looking at the list here of the lowest ranking ones that you've presented, and they're all motor vehicles. And my question is to somebody there from uh, uh, Public Works, are any of these vehicle purchases or uh, any of the vehicle purchases, is there any way that we could get an, another year's use out of those vehicles rather than purchasing them, them, them uh, with, this, with this capital improvement? Yes, David Beeble is with us. David, could you please respond to Jim's question? Um, sure. I, we can definitely look at that. Uh, however, uh, there's a couple in here, you know, I, ultimately, if you, if you total them up, um, you know, you're roughly at around, looks maybe like 250,000 potentially, maybe a little less. Uh, again, delaying it just as it's, it's going to increase the maintenance cost on this as well as uh, some of the operational aspects of, of delaying that. Um, I guess it would be my suggestion is don't focus so much on, on, on the total at this point, just focus on the rankings because I think uh, it depending upon the markets and the rate of borrowing, uh, it may be favorable in, for 2021 to borrow this full amount. Um, We'll have to just wait and see. I think there's an opportunity, um, you know, we're looking at 2021. We, I guess we don't have to necessarily at this stage say, we're gonna cap the borrowing at three and a half million or 375 or at 4 million until we get a little bit further detail of what the economic climate's gonna be along with the budget process. But be that as that is, if that decision's made and looking at the ranking, Yes, we can definitely delay uh, funding of vehicles, again, with the aspect or understanding that it's going to increase maintenance cost uh, and, and maybe not be as efficient. But we all will have to make those trade-offs if it is a difficult budget year and, and difficult for financing. Those are trade-offs that definitely that we would have to consider. Thank you, David. Anything else, Jim? No, that's it. Thank you very much. Any other discussion or questions? Mayor, I have a question. Your name? Henry Young. Very good, Henry. Go ahead. Of the, in past years, and I've served on this commission for over 10, there were fewer this year of requests, and half of them were for motor vehicles. One happened to be the four-wheel drive uh, no, I'll take it back. The uh, zero turn, turn more. In past years, we've talked about items that have had more substance to them or more relationship to the actual budget. And I'm wondering why this year the number was less and why the... Uh, why the requests were of, uh, I'm going to say, lesser nature. Yeah, uh, th this is Daryl Hoffland. Uh, ahead, I can Darryl. respond, and again, David Beeble's here. Um, uh, I think starting in 2017 budget, um, there was a, 
uh, strategy that was invoked associated with paying back the uh, equipment fund uh, in recognition that uh, in prior years, the Common Council had made a decision to take excess fund balance in that equipment fund to make, to make a payment, uh, I think that it was associated with our pension fund, uh, and the city had never paid internally, the city had not paid the equipment fund back. So there was a very specific strategy in 17, 18, 19 to uh, start that process of paying back, not in all one year, of course, uh, but to pay back the fund balance uh, that the city, uh, again, took advantage of at approximately a million dollars a year. Um, by the close of 2019, I think the city had paid back uh, the equipment fund. So as part of the 2020 budget, in discussions with uh, Director Beeble, uh, he uh, looked at ways of funding uh, his equipment purchases, one through higher charges to other departments, but ultimately to s reduce in a significant way the amount of borrowed funds to make purchases of his equipment again, relying upon fund balance, because now we built it up s slightly um, in, from prior years. So Henry, you're absolutely right. Uh, already in 2020, uh, roughly half a million, I think, is uh, the amount of borrowed funds to support equipment fund. And then again, looking at projections of increase in rental charges to the other departments, uh, David is looking to reduce, as you can see here, that list uh, of, again, equipment that has any sort of uh, borrowing associated with the purchase. So we're down uh, around that quarter of a million dollar mark going forward, and we think ultimately uh, we can make a go of it and sustain uh, the sort of the solvency of the equipment fund uh, as a result of this lower debt-related uh, uh, recommendation. So absolutely, Henry, you're right on the mark. There is a significant reduction in debt related uh, to equipment purchases. Thank you, Daryl. Henry, did you have any other questions? Appreciate your explanation. Any other questions? With that, I uh, entertain a motion on the items before us. This is Ryan. I'll move to accept and approve. Thank you for that motion. Is there a second? And this Thank is you. Trey. Second. Thank you very much, Trey. Okay, that, that motion is before us. Is there any further discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Um, next item is adjournment. I want to thank all of you for the time and effort that you put into your uh, reports and your surveys. Uh, I think our staff did a great job with putting um, all the things that are needed for the many departments in this capital improvements program. And I want to thank our administrator, Daryl Hoffman, for uh, conducting that process. And uh, with that, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn, Jerry Jones. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time today.